Hey, welcome back, DIY RV and Home with Greg. Today's project, relocating our cable modem. Now I've got to go ahead and cut the wire, move it, and I'm going to punch a hole, new hole through the wall going outside to get that. So I thought I'd take you along with that. So first thing we got to do is get in there, cut that wire, and pull it out of the out of the wall. Uh, show you the different things that I'm going to do to uh, clean it up and everything like that. So let me swing you around, get you over there. We'll cut it out and start moving it. So this is where the cable entered the house and uh, went up to our modem. So I'm going to have to cut the end off of it, pull it back through the house, and then I can... The uh, best part about this is we're actually shortening the cable up, so I'm not having to worry about length. Let me get to set up. We'll snip that, pull it out. Here we go. Hopefully everything goes good now because we don't have mode cable right now or internet. All right, so I've already taken and removed the, the clips that held the wire on to the house. So go ahead and pull it out. I want to reuse these. Ah. So off screen, I'll go ahead and get that off because I need two hands on that. And then what we're going to do, so we're actually going to go ahead and relocate the wire somewhere right around here. Um, it'll come down, come over somewhere. We'll drill from the inside out. So this is where we're going to be uh, pulling that cable through the wall. We're going to have to drill a hole all the way through to the exterior and size it, size those holes so we can put these grommets through. So to start off with, um, I've got an electrical outlet just right up here in the same area where I want to run the, pull that wire through. So I've got to be really careful about that, uh, not drilling into that wire. So. That, along with wanting to have the proper size hole for this grommet, um, I'm going to use a Forstner bit, a Forstner bit, so I can drill in. It doesn't. It makes the uh, hole that we drill really nice. Um, doesn't splinter it out. So I'm going to start with that. I'm just going to go in just far enough that I actually go into the stud cavity and not any further, so I don't risk hitting those wires. Just in case those wires are over here. And then I'm going to take an extra long bit and I'll put that in and I'll make sure it's going all the way and touching the other side, the exterior wall, before I actually start drilling through. Once I get that done, I'll uh, use a step bit to uh, start enlarging the hole on the outside. Once I get it to the size, about a half inch, what this is, then I'll go ahead and use this to finish that hole. So I'm going to set you up. We're going to get this drilled real quick and get those run, cables run. I think my son's uh, chomping at the bit to get cable back, or excuse me, internet back. Okay, so just arbitrary where I want to put the hole. I'm just going to find a spot and drill. So here we go. I'm going to call it right about there. Is good. Okay, there's the first hole. Okay, so I know I'm hitting solid material on the outside. So I am on that exterior wall. So now we'll just go ahead and finish putting the hole through here. There we go. Now 
Now I'm going to leave that drill bit in there and I'll sh actually no, I'm going to pull that drill bit out. I got to go uh, increase the hole on the other side. So I'll swing you around, get you outside, and we'll get this hole made. Right back. So here's our hole on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and get that hole enlarged so I can uh, put that uh, bezel in there, that trim piece, and uh, go from there. See if I can't get you set up to watch, so you can saw it. Watch. All right, got the hole sized to half inch on the outside of it. So now we'll just go ahead and finish it. She blows. Touch of silicone, and that thing will be in there permanently. Yeah, I'm just gonna take and so now I'm just gonna pull some excess wire. Go ahead and snip it off. See if we can't get that fish through all the way through. Okay, that's not fishing through easy, so let me go get some stuff and I'll show you how I'm going to get it through the wall. So I took a piece of wire and just kind of stuck it through the hole and just kind of played around a little bit and I was able to go all the way through find the other find the other hole. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, get this trim piece off. I'm going to put it back over the, the coax and I've got some electrical tape. I'm just going to wrap that electrical tape around the coax and then around the wire. And this way, I'll be able to actually feed it through this side. But if I wasn't able to, I could go inside and actually grab that cable and just pull it with that other one. So we'll put that there. We'll feed the excess in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this all uh, cleaned up to where it looks nice, reattached with the, with the fasteners and everything like that. So I'll get that done, then we'll go ahead and uh, go inside and get this finished. You can see we got it through the wall. There's that wire that I had. So now, all I just need to do is go ahead and just snip some off. And then I will uh, want to put that grommet on. Make sure we put it on the right way. Okay, there it is. Dab of silicone. We'll keep that thing from moving around. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, figure out how long I need this, get it cut to size, and in the future, if I want to, I can always put a trim plate or put a an outlet cover there with a coaxial uh, connection on it. But for right now, this is how I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and figure out how long I need this cord and then cut it size and then we'll get to uh, actually putting the end on it. Now I've got the coaxial cable cut to the length that I want it 
And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an end on it. Now this is style actually uses a special tool that'll actually crimp it on or compress it and lock it in place. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to do it uh, without the special tool that's required. I don't do this very often, so we're going to give it a shot see if we can't do it. Uh, the DIY backyard guy kind of guy. So, first thing we got to do is we got to trim, take the outer sheath off at about a half inch from the end. So, figure out approximately half inch. And you just want to cut lightly through the outer sheath. You don't want to go too deep and cut into the other wires. And as you can see, there's the wires right there. So once I got that, I just kind of take and start twisting the wire a little bit back and forth, manipulating it. And with that little bit of a score on the um, outer sheath all the way around, it uh, makes an easy job of taking off. So there we go. So then the next step is actually to come in about a quarter inch and cut down to the center core, to the center copper wire. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Now you're gonna to have to press a little bit harder this time to get all the way through. Just take your time. There we go. Now we just need to clamp a couple of these little burrs. We don't want excess wire there. Okay. So, there we go. Our end's just a little bit long. So I can actually trim that down just a little bit. Okay. Now the way these are designed is they just slip over and then the, the actual crimp tool presses this piece this red piece in locking it in place since we don't have that we're going to try doing it a little bit of a different way so we're going to go ahead and work on pressing that and what we want to do is the white inner sheath we want that to be right at the edge of the threads on the in, all the way inside so let me see if I can't get that pressed in place real quick. Okay, so we've got the wire in. Real close to that edge with that inner sheath. So now we're going to go ahead and try to lock it in. Now this piece right here is designed to be pressed into this body and that'll compress on the outside of the coax cable to hold it in place. They have a special tool that does that, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna try using a uh, little wrench and a hammer. See if we can't do it. Here we go. There it is. We've got it all the way tight. So the final uh, test is actually hooking it up and see if it works. Bring you back. There it is. Got the cable moved, uh, modem relocated, the internet's back up and running. Uh, nice thing is, is we're going to have better uh, connection throughout the house and it's a win-win for me hope you guys got something out of this anything from you know putting an end on a coaxial cable diy without the tools to uh how to uh
get a hole through a wall so that you can run a wire or something like that. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and hope to see you on the next video.